My name, again, is Sydney Stolze. I am a senior at Mercy High School. We got you! And the title of my poem is Waiting to Call. On a day when I feel as if the world is falling apart around me, that everything I thought I knew as fact are lies, and I feel myself sinking deeper into insanity, I decide to make a group chat, consisting of some of my closest friends whom I consider my therapists. <laughs> hey guys, um, can I talk about something? It's really been bothering me today. What's up? They each ask individually. I take a deep breath, exhale, and start to type my five paragraph essay on the topic. <laughs> Done, send, wait. 30 minutes later, I check my phone, no reply. This seems to happen a lot to me. Whether it's because of the way I type or the time of day, I will never know. But I almost always wait. As I wait, anxiety builds. It condenses, gains weight, until it's 20,000 pounds of pressure on every cubic inch of bone, pressing down on my ribs, cracking my bones, splintering them to shards. My depression sinks me down, 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 until not only does my chest hurt from the pressure, but my lungs scream because I am drowning. I'm drowning and screaming for help, but no one is listening. If I told you I was going to kill myself, would you reply faster? If I told you that I had pills in my hand, would you still respond? If I told you that I had a gun and was willing to pull the trigger, would you call me instead? I know you're reading my messages. I receive a notification every time you do. You just don't say anything. And I only come asking for help when I really need it. I only come ask for help when I am on the brink of killing myself. I always respond. Not only do I always respond, but I respond immediately. Because I know how much it hurts to sit there waiting for someone to care, waiting for someone to answer, waiting for someone to save you. But hey, it's not urgent. This is normal for me, isn't it? Because if I was serious, wouldn't I call? <laughs>